In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute a mean score across two or more variables. So this is going to give us a mean for each row in our data set. In this case, I've got participants, so it's going to give us a mean score for each participant. And you'll see I've got four mean scores, so there's slightly different ways that we can compute a mean um, according to how many responses that we have. So if we've got missing values, we can choose not to include a mean for that particular participant. Let's have a quick look at our coding before we get started. So if we go to the variable view, you can see that for all four of my satisfaction variables, one represents strongly disagree, through to five representing strongly agree. Now it's really important that when you're combining variables that they're all measured in the same way. So if you have something like scales or items on a scale like I have here with satisfaction, they all need to be positively worded or they all need to be negatively worded. In this case, all of mine are positive. Now, an example of, say, a negatively worded question would be if I had dissatisfied with quality. So if I had that instance, I would need to reverse code that variable before I was able to combine it with the others. If you want to know more about reverse coding, please see that specific video. Okay, let's have a look back at our data view. We've got four different mean scores that we're going to calculate. The first one calculates a mean regardless of any missing values for participants. The second one we're going to do is only going to compute a mean score if a person has two or more scores. So you'll see here that this participant only answered one, so they no longer have a score here for the mean. The third one will only compute if they have three or more scores, and the fourth one will only compute if you have all four satisfaction scores. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to delete these ones that I have here so that we can create them again if we go to clear. Okay, we can compute a variable from the transform menu using the first option called compute variable. We need to give our variable a name. I'm going to call mine mean status. Now you can type in a label and specify the variable type. Here it's going to be numeric and we can type in a label for this. So I can call it mean satisfaction score for example and go ahead and click continue. Now to get our mean, we're going to use the function group called statistical. We want the mean. You can either double click or use the arrow. I'm going to go ahead and double click. Now you see these question marks. We're going to replace those question marks with our variables. So the first one's highlighted. I'm going to go ahead here to my first variable and double click. I'm now going to highlight my second question mark and replace it with my second variable. You can double click or use the arrow. I'm going to go ahead and double click it in. Now I've got two, uh, more than two variables, so I need to separate them with commas. I put a comma, add the third one, put a comma, and add the fourth one. Now that's all we need to do. We can go ahead and click OK. You can see here we have our new mean status score, and if we have a look at our variable view, we've got a label and uh, we have a level of measurement which is scale by default. The decimal places are also set to default as to, and all of this is okay, it's what we want. So let's have a look at how we can specify how many items a person must have before we make a mean score. If we go back to transform and, uh, transform and compute, I'm going to go ahead and change the name because we can't have two variables with the same name. Um, I'm going to put a two because I'm going to specify that a person has to have two or more scores before we make a mean. If we have mean and we put a full stop and then the number two, this tells SPSS only calculate a mean if there are two or more. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see here for the fifth participant, they only have one score. So this is missing because they don't have two or more. We can do the same thing for three or more. So if I go back to compute, I change this to a three, change this to a three, Go ahead and click OK. So you get the hang of it. You can also do this for four. You can do it for as many variables that you're combining. So if I had 10 variables, I could do it up to 10 if I wanted to. Okay, so this gives us a mean score across all participants.